<laughs> hey guys. Hello guys. Good evening. And I am Avi. I am Rushan. And welcome to the Real Nonsense Podcast, episode 2. traumatic week and i mean what i have been hearing everywhere is people are saying okay 2020 is right now the worst year of uh, theirs or the worst year they have ever seen two legends uh, the great irfan khan and the great rishi kapoor who passed away and i think um, nothing would be more sadder than this that uh, it was in a span of one day and uh, I it thought was, uh, it was a big hit to the entertainment industry. It was a shocker, and man. It was a shocker. It, it was, was a big shocker. I mean, uh, I wasn't... I was aware that uh, a day before Irfan Khan was actually uh, transferred to the hospital. And even uh, Rishi Kapoor uh, was transferred to the hospital. But then um, we didn't know, I mean, that he would die. I mean, die. Irfan Khan was already a shocker to me. And I was like, wow. And, you know, the whole day on WhatsApp, on social media it was YouTube. very sad i mean uh, you know, everyone that talking guy, about Khan and it was you know the, all the life can things. be so cruel i mean wikipedia if you would see a week back it used to say irfan khan is and suddenly now when you see it's like irfan khan was even for rishi kapoor the great rishi kapoor i think 67 is still no age i mean uh, 60 is the new 67. 50 Yes. Yeah, people say so. I mean, again, yeah, they both, I think, uh, Irfan Khan obviously died of colon infection, but he was a cancer patient, cancer survivor before. And even Rishi Kapoor had come back from the United States. And they both have actually, unfortunately, have become victims to this uh, dangerous disease. I mean, Bollywood has lost two gems. And I think... uh, yeah, before starting all of this, I think this episode is kind of a tribute. Someone shared that, you know, uh, the whole Irfan Khan's life can be summed up uh, in in one sentence where he, when he was young, he could not afford uh, yes. to buy the ticket for, it's for Jurassic, movie, Park. Jurassic Park. And then later on, he... Stars in the fourth movie. Yes, yes. Yeah, wonderful. Technically owns it. Even I could, I would actually say that it's not Priyanka Chopra, but it was actually Irfan Khan who was Bollywood's face in the West. I mean, yes, Priyanka was, Chopra was, was much later. Do but you I remember think, we used to talk about this in school also. Yes, yes. We used to we used to talk the same thing about Irfan Khan in school, like you know how uh, we 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 just. We don't consider, or no one considers him as that big star. But in Hollywood, you know, he's yes. actually more popular. Yes. Uh, Rof Lala. Rof Lala character. Man, yes. that guy. I think uh, Rishi Kapoor was one of those actors who reinvented himself after Man, uh, getting old. was such a... Oh, that was a menacing low, character. You know, such a oh. fresh... I mean, I, I, I fresh, never saw him in that, role, in that I mean, uh, zone before. And wow. In the 50s, he discovered, rediscovered himself. And I think Kapoor and Sons. And you have a lot of those uh, small budget films. I love Kapoor and Sons. Great Small budget films, which he has actually been part of. He has played those matured roles. And I think uh, uh, if you wanted to wanted somebody to play an older role before, I mean, you would only go to Anupam Kher or Bamani Rani. But I think uh, with Rishi Kapoor in the picture, you always had a... He always had an option. And I yes. remember, I think, Robert De Niro's movie, The Intern, was supposed to be remade in uh, Hindi with Deepika and uh, Rishi Kapoor. And I wow. must say that Rishi Kapoor would actually suit that part because uh, he I would. Think he's one that he would I, actually I look like Robert De Niro. Uh, how 2020 began, and you know, it uh, started with wildfires and. Ah, and yeah, we've and forgotten those. Australian wildfires, yes. Yeah, yes, and, yes, you yes. Know, and, and again in April, this and this I don't corona know, nonsense, so, yeah. I mean, four months, and we saw a lot already. 
in terms of a what's lot. going around yeah, yeah, the yeah. world and so what i'm hearing is now even many companies have already started thinking about working from home as a compulsory solution because they have realized that the productivity has not actually gone down i mean the work levels are still similar so why probably waste uh, office space or you know that amount uh, for for putting up an office so i think now the new the new new you know the new way of life would be probably that office culture will slowly go yes that will still be there but till now when we used to talk about work from home it used to be like oh wow i i know a lot of other people who cannot work from home they've lost their jobs and there is a crisis and there is a even bigger crisis that is going to come soon but um the good part is that you know but now we know that all corporate jobs um most of the jobs uh, only require you to sit on a desk and send few emails and uh you know i mean it is just I mean, the way computer. we are operating i mean we could actually do this with lockdown without lockdown i mean i mean uh, how i don't i actually don't find things very difficult because Exactly. I mean the the IT IT department of every company I think now are pretty much capable of setting up anything at home and uh, I mean my systems are working fine I guess the data security which um, probably they can just put some norms and make you sign They'll have to come up with something contract. yeah they'll have yeah. to come up with something okay, yeah. but this is the new this is the new era I think this is where uh, things will now change I think real estate rates are going to come down commercial rates will come down worldwide because i don't think i don't see companies uh, starting their offices okay i mean there are in india i mean people are still going in uae now they have opened up because if they don't open up a place like uae um, they're going to get screwed up big time so till last uh, week we had to like there, there is an app where you had mm-hmm. to take a permission to go out and all that stuff is done now mm-hmm. even the bars have opened for your information and uh, a group of 30 in total only 30 people are allowed and i mean yeah you have to take the precautions but they have opened up places in malls also like i mean they count how many people have gone in and gone out and uh, but they had to open because i think uh, for a place like dubai which actually runs on uh, runs on services and all the industries if this goes down i mean with dubai lot of other industries will go down so i think they're doing it plus i mean uh, they have been testing as well and uh, obviously you know every day you test it's not it's not positive anyways i mean it's not that the cases are reducing but uh, the good part is the government plans to test everyone so i, I, I one think that's, at least that's a good direction at least there will come a day when everybody will be tested so once yeah. everybody is tested they know i mean because i can think i mean this will be the biggest issue for a country like india because i mean we still don't know in india that how many have been tested so whatever plus the results the, are coming yeah think, plus the number of tests i guess uh, government is trying to do as more and more and there are a lot of uh, states coming up with a new testing kits which can determine you know results in 10 minutes or 1 hour or something and Yes, I guess in India, for a country with uh, a huge amount of people, I guess they have to uh, maximize the number of tests in order to control the control the virus. I mean, frankly, you know, I was going to fly to Thailand uh, today, and uh, <laughs> with my better half, <laughs> and so my bad, tickets were course. booked in Feb. So yes. I mean, uh, Oman Air uh, through Oman Air, and uh, we didn't even cancel the tickets. You, you gonna go for any trip this year? I don't. I mean, uh, uh, you no, think, no. I don't think even you you're gonna come to India. I think no, coming no, to India. No, no, no. This year, I don't think it's gonna be possible. I, 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 I didn't no, no, even, no, no. I, I didn't think I would anyway. But uh, because it, it, I would. I mean, if I would, I would probably think a month before or something, or two months before. but now i don't think this is going to be happening doesn't also look in like india uh, they have uh, they have extended the lockdown so you still yeah, don't yeah, know when, when it's going to and it's, it's going to i think it's going to go on till i saw this joke today that um, azadi 15th august mein hi milegi which uh, means that uh, 
I mean, we'll get the independence on 15th August only. So, yeah, India. But I think uh, I saw this in the afternoon after lunch. I mean, I took a nap. I, I think a lot of people uh, have started and to. It was, uh, it was an amazing meme, like but I think. India will gain <laughs> second independence in 2020. Uh, uh, you know, with because mainly there is there is this uh, saying where everyone tells you, you know, because you were not, you didn't earn the freedom because you were not there when India was fighting the freedom. So I guess now uh, you get to a, see it again. Yeah, you get, get to feel the, <laughs> the freedom fighting and fighting the virus. Uh, jokes apart, I know it's a serious situation. So you know we are just trying to light but up. Yeah, I mean sitting at home, I mean uh, laughing about it. We are just uh, entertaining ourselves, and there's no hard feelings. I mean, what else are we gonna do? <laughs> so I I saw I read this thing that smoking. Uh, kills uh, coronavirus. I mean, uh, in terms yeah. of uh, uh, I mean, smoking... This was uh, one rumor which I don't know if it's... it's... It's linked with nicotine only, by the way. So It says that nicotine, uh, people with nicotine content are actually uh, pretty... Uh, they're they're um, immune yes. to coronavirus. That's what it yes. says. So, in, in, in a more uh, broader sense, Smoking kills Corona. So this is like, so, oh fuck. <clears throat> in France, they are right now testing uh, this this thing about nicotine and coronavirus. So I don't know if it's going to be a legit thing, but yeah, impressive. I mean, for all those impressive. smokers I mean, nobody, out there, I don't know if you should smoke or not smoke. Nobody ever told <laughs> us, nobody, nobody ever told us to go and smoke. I mean, obviously. So when such I mean, something, you have something a like choice here. Out, you, you die from virus now, or you smoke and you die from cancer. So I mean, it's just um, it's it's your choice. I, I mean, guess. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, rumors rumors come every day, but it's it's pretty hard to. What if it's true? What if uh, <laughs> smoking actually? I mean, does if it's cure true, then I'm I'm I'll have to. I'm, I'm compelled to go out and probably go and light one and immune myself. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you go to pharmacy and you're like, but yeah, my. Can I have a pack of Marlboro, mate? <laughs> Did you see this news about uh, Kim Jong Kim Jong Un? Oh my God, Kim Jong Un is back after a hiatus of two weeks, and uh, I mean, I think the entire world has been. Uh, Talking about Kim Jong Un, and, yeah, I, I think it was two, two to three. I, weeks. I thought he, he was died for I mean, three weeks, and people. The, I the thought whole he world died. Was, he he is not uh, visible because they suspect that he got coronavirus. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, with all the rumors, I mean, um, the only thing about North Korea, I mean, I think I know is whatever I saw in the movie, the interview. They made a news in the country that North Korea won the World Cup. Uh, this was years back. <laughs> this was years back, I guess. They have a very controlled media, and uh, they put some old footages and you know telecasted, broadcasted in the TVs, and they made it look like North Korea won the FIFA, and um, <laughs> there were celebrations and stuff. So there was this popular joke that Kim Jong Un doesn't take a shit or doesn't go pee. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. there could be I know, anything. He doesn't I mean, have an asshole. Uh, when uh, interview movie came out, the whole Sony hack. Oh I yeah. Mean, I think uh, the head of Sony got fired after that. I think it was leaked. The movie. Uh, was I don't remember online. what happened with the head of Sony, but all those uh, internal emails and uh, classified emails and where you know classified information of Sony, the whole thing. It was a big, oh, big deal. Korea does uh, have some hackers. Hmm. <laughs> now he's back, and everyone. Yes, is look who showed up, <laughs> and I mean. What I was reading in one BBC article is he has gained some weight. He has a new hairstyle. I mean, that's what is different about him. He has a new hairstyle. He has gained some weight. And no, I mean, a, he looks pretty alive. That's a very noticeable change of him. <laughs> what happened is he, he went, he called all his friends. And since, you know, like Corona and all this shit, so it's like, man, let's chill. So let's have a blast, and then probably he mixed some Chinese, Japanese, and Korean whiskeys together, and yeah, there you go. He woke up after three weeks, and and then when he, <laughs> that, that reminds me, and you he know, got a new haircut. There's this actor called Jared Leto, 
who who played joker in suicide I, I know squad that, like, uh-huh. yeah. so even he went for some uh, i think uh, some some session somewhere i mean without the mobile and stuff for like 2 3 weeks and i remember last month when he returned from his holiday or whatever you would call i mean he was surprised that the world was under corona lockdown and uh, he have. didn't know about it yeah so, yeah so yeah i mean uh, imagine yeah, imagine man like if you were somewhere else and you were like oh my god i want to be away from the social media and shit and you go for a one month trip and then you're back and you're like what can we tell you like man irfan khan and rishi kapoor fuck oh man this is yeah. still busy watching um the office on net on amazon office, prime yeah. and uh, it's it's seven seasons man i'm on the third yeah, yeah 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 uh, i i managed to watch extraction finally yesterday with mm-hmm. um uh it stars chris hemsworth made the producers are the makers of uh, Uh, Avengers End Game, the Russo But brothers. This I, this one is on Netflix. The one they shot in Bangladesh in India. Yes, yes, it's oh, on Netflix. Okay. It's directed right. by a guy called Sam Hargrave. He used to be the stunt coordinator for um, a lot of Avenger films. So the stunts are very nice. I mean, I've seen stunt directors who have become uh, full fledged directors for like movies like John Wick. I mean, they have. a good sense of action and they have never disappointed i mean uh, there's another guy called david lich he made uh, deadpool 2 and he also i think he made hobbs and shaw we also have rohit shetty yes yes we have rohit shetty and who's blowing up cars for last 10 years <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah Challenging i mean the laws of physics yes and i'm very happy that uh, this time salman khan our bhai has not released anything because every time uh, ramadan comes the only thing people talk about is his movie and uh, i mean people have been saved uh, because apparently his next movie was titled radhe the most wanted bhai and yeah the most and it is wanted. it is being directed by prabhu deva so the last movie salman khan and prabhu deva did together was dabang 3 where are they t- taking this dabang series i, I mean, think dabang i mean whatever they tried to do whatever they I tried like the to do the second one also but second one is okay second one is a remake of the first one and uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> and i don't know why they made the third one probably i mean uh, obviously you know i mean his highness wrote the script and uh, you need also salman khan movies there are you need i mean you who... need salman khan movies but i think they need to be at a level where i mean if you are like 40 years old or 30 years old i mean at least make a movie for a 20 or 15 year old i mean don't make a movie for a 5 year old or a 8 year old kabir singh was a good movie it was a it was very i mean i think the remake was i have never by the same director no so yes obviously i mean have... but then again in bollywood have... they just pick up a film and i mean oh you, you know, know i don't want to you know they they could have done they could have just used the the graphics team of the ms dhoni movie and then just put the face of shahid kapoor <laughs> <laughs> i'm really waiting for a good abhishek bachchan movie a good um so i, mean, I will uh, i mean after i think houseful 3 he took a 3 4 years break and he's come out he came out with man marziya last time and since then he's been he's been smart in signing films so i mean he's he's coming out with a film called ludo he has this uh, movie with uh, another director it's based on the stock exchange uh, market i think it should be good and then if you remember the movie kahani there was this character called bob who was shooting guys mm-hmm. so there is the spin off coming up where he plays bob it's a younger version of so i think abhishek bachchan wow. is now going to get his due after probably 20 years into the business many actors rediscover themselves after a particular age like i think saif ali khan it's like his rebirth after 48 40, 49 you know now he's I 50 think, so but i think saif still you know even though he had done uh, even though he he used to do good films in the middle i mean his movies were always yeah, good yeah. i i think he is more in mean, terms of his uh, movie selection and you know because he, he likes to i guess he's he's totally he, he's now he doesn't want to 
get into that star star zone i mean although he's a star, yeah he's ready to yeah. do those offbeat roles and i think when an actor accepts himself that way i think even a guy like akshay khanna i think people like him will do much better if they don't want to be a hero of a movie joke about him being jason statham of uh, bollywood right <laughs> the only bald guy yes back in the day when sajid khan's movie i think the first time when hey baby came out we both hey went to so watch it in the movie. theater and we went, we went we together chose, i think i remember <laughs> yeah and i remember we we chose hey baby over uh, chak de india and uh, there was another group of class people who were actually from our class who were actually watching chak de india and we both chose to watch hey baby and baby. i was like yeah. okay sajid khan was this comedy host who had just made his first movie so i was like okay after seeing his interviews and all i have realized that he regarded himself very highly which okay i don't say you don't regard yourself highly but then after hey baby he made like two housefuls and then went on to make himmat wala and then there was a movie called hum shakals i mean uh, you you cannot be spared for that i mean i think it will scar you for life and <laughs> you should try playing the trailer for uh, hum shakals one day you know sir hamari yakeen kijiye hum pagal nahi hai kono ke hum shakals hai hum pagal nahi hai hamare dimag ka raab hai aur wo kono ke bhi hum shakals are i mean seeing a movie like this i think uh, in any era you make such shit i think uh, people are going to die because uh, such movies are uh, i mean more more harsh harsher and difficult uh, than corona Okay so that was the end of episode 2 I hope you guys like it please write us down in the comment section about anything you would like to comment on and till then take care stay safe